Hey guys, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, in this week episode, we're gonna see how you can bypass the XSS controls uh, using the event handlers. Uh, in the past, we have seen like you know various examples and and like you know what you can do as an attacker uh, by exploiting the cross site scripting. But the first thing you know any pen tester would like to uh, know is whether there is a, a cross site scripting possibility in the application or not. Uh, and certain times like you know there are a few controls like the basic controls which are implemented by the developers uh, which they think uh, like you know uh, which would make application secure but it's essentially not because there are so many payloads that which you can use and bypass those controls so that's what we're gonna see and also uh, like you know this is going to be helpful for the developers who thinks like you know uh, having certain like you know just blocking certain uh, dangerous keywords or, or dangerous uh, script tags and stuff like that would prevent the cross-site scripting happening on their website now essentially what are event handlers so event handlers are something where uh, like you know if there is an event happens then it performs certain actions so for example uh, let's say you have on click event so like you know uh, and you would see this on several application like uh, if you click on something it would pop up a message uh, if you click on like you know uh, something it would open a new link so and there are on click event then there is mouse over event and and likewise like you know if you go to the HTML uh, uh, definition there are just so many events so this is these are the event handlers and we're gonna use that to perform the cross-site scripting uh, and like you know when it is useful uh, we essentially talked about when there are some basic controls placed by like you know blocking of the uh, basic access tags by the developers then we can certainly use those and uh, like you know bypass those and perform cross-site scripting uh, now let's jump back to our uh, Firefox and, and see how, how it is done all right, so uh, we are back to the mutilated application, which uh, we had seen, like you know, in the past as well in the previous few examples. So uh, just to recap, uh, this is how we had been doing, uh, like you know, cross-site scripting. Uh, this is the simplest payload uh, which anyone would try, and like you know, anyone could find the cross-site scripting. So if we look at one, two, three, so this is how our payload is being injected into the application response now this was simple but let's assume a developer had like you no know, blacklisted or they have some escaping or something for this particular script tag so like you know if you perform like if you write a dangerous words like you know script or something they would either escape it they would trunk it or, or like you know you're not allowed to uh, write the script tag so what are the other ways you have to still perform go ahead and like you know do the cross-site scripting and and as a pen tester uh, you need to understand like you know how what are the different ways you have because uh, if one way doesn't work you should try and explore the different ways how you can still exploit the cross-site scripting uh, and the other thing is uh, in this video we're just gonna see the uh, event handler but there are so many other ways out there like you can also use the encoding you can also I use like you know the matched image tag and and stuff like that to perform the cross site scripting without using the script tag but we are not going to go into detail of everything uh, like you know I would like you guys to try it out first and like you know try explore different payloads there is a good list of uh, resources available on the OWASP website and then there, there are several other resources out there you should also try like you know on different websites like this mutual day there is a damn vulnerable application then there is a web god project so uh, in a different programming language so you should try all of these payloads and, and like you know uh, see which is working and, and try to understand each of those uh, so in this one let's assume uh, we are not going to do uh, any uh, we are not going to use or we are not allowed to use the script tag so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, create a random tag which is a then I'm going to use the on mouse over event so what it happens is when our input is injected someone hovers the mouse on that particular string or, or whatever the input that we are given it's gonna execute or it's gonna uh, generate the event that we assign so in this case 
uh, we can assign like you know document dot cookie so it will tell us like you know what the cookie information is in the past we have seen you can also uh, send this cookie back to the attackers machine you can also log it uh, we have done like you know we have seen several examples in the previous video so I'm not gonna go in detail so uh, alright so we have documented cookie uh, we're gonna close this of course uh, we'll say click here and and we're gonna close a all right so just to recap we open the a tag uh, we have on mouse over uh, we're gonna alert the document that cookie and we click here and okay so uh, we did here all right so as you can see that there is no pop-up as of now but as you can see results for click here so like you know when we take our mouse here it's gonna show the document cookie because we have hovered our mouse over the results again if I go here so like you know this is just a simplest example you can also do on click and there are tons of event handler out there so you can use it uh, whatever you like the best all right so this is it like you know this is uh, what I wanted to show you guys uh, in this particular video I'm sure like you know I, I I really hope that you guys would try like you know at home uh, using several other payloads and, and let me know how which one you like the best and like you know which one you had the experience with the most and if you have any difficulties uh, feel free to write me a comment in the section below so uh, that's it but uh, thank you for your time uh, if you are uh, new to this channel please subscribe I'll be back next week with the some more videos on the application security and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video